Alrighty, everyone, we just did the unboxing of the Lockley Visage Xeno Series Deadbolt Smart Lock, which has facial recognition, biometrics, and uh, fingerprint, along with the Pin Genie and Apple Home as well. Now we're actually going to get into the installation. We just did the unboxing, so if you want to see the unboxing video, go ahead and just type into the search the un Lockley Visage unboxing video along with my name and it should come right up. With that, we're going to go ahead and get started on this installation right here and we're actually going to show you step-by-step -step installation every step along the way. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the lock bolt. Okay, the lock bolt, it's going to say up just like that right there. And then it's going to also say two and three quarter and three quarter and then we also have two and three eighths right there okay and then once we do that now we can decide what opening we have so right here the idea is is you want the center of this hole to actually line up with so if we're looking here you want the center of that hole to line up with these holes here or the center of the large hole. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. And it obviously is not lined up right now because it's slightly to the inside. So that means that we're gonna have to go ahead and take this lock bolt out. This would be the more commercial grade setting, which is gonna be that two and three quarter back set. So again, you want this side to be up, you want it to remain up, and now you can see that it's perfectly, the center is perfectly in line with these two holes here so that we can actually get this thing to go ahead and lock in the correct place. Now I'm gonna go ahead and retract the bolt. I just was doing that so you could get a more visual with that being lined up perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and set this right here. Simply put the screws that come in the bag for the latch to install the latch into the door itself, pre-drill if necessary. Those screws in there. Again, make sure that we're lined up correctly here. Now it is going to come with this template here or this guide. Again, there's your two and three eighths and two and three quarters mark. Or I'm sorry, inch and <clears throat> no, yeah, two and three eighths and two and three quarters right here. And then your door thickness, inch and three eighths, inch and three quarter, and then two inch thick oversized thick door there. So if you need to use this, you can. I would highly recommend you use a jig and not just the paper temp template. But that is going to be a hundred percent up to you. The next thing that it wants is it actually wants you to throw the bolt. So it wants you to throw the actual bolt during your actual installation here. And this is according to the installation instructions. Okay. Then I want to install this right here. Okay. So you need to have the wire and then the tailpiece needs to be in this vertical direction, just like this. Okay, so it needs to be able to rotate that way and it needs to be able to rotate that way. On that, again, this is a five pin lock that we've got in here um, instead of the six pin. It used to be the six pin, but because they narrowed the thickness, the overall thickness here, that cut into how thick that lock can be. And I think you're gonna see more and more of that and you'll probably eventually see the mechanical key override actually just disappear overall. Installing this portion properly is very important. And it moves. Okay. So I'll go ahead and leave it just like that. <clears throat> the next portion is going to be this guy right here. Okay. So we're going to put this on. We're going to bring those wires right directly through here. Okay, so the wiring is going to come right directly through this hole right here. Then we've got our through screws 
And this is a conventional door, so we don't have to worry about the um, over thickness of it. Let's see which one of these works. Okay, now it's going to want us to use the D2 screws right here. D2. To go ahead and be the through screws that go through here and actually go through to the other side of the lock and bring it in place. Okay, so we're going to need to make sure everything's lined up nice and smooth. You want to make sure the screws are snug. Make sure that everything is nice and straight. So you want to make sure the lock is nice and straight. You want to make sure everything is nice and straight and sitting the way that you want it to sit. Okay. That way when we crank this puppy down, it stays in place. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these guys right here. Next, we're going to plug this little ditty in. Okay. So I am not going to worry about the door position sensor right now, but I am going to want to plug this in right here. Okay. little guy and get plugged into this little guy right here. operation for that little guy right there. This is going to go right on here. And if we were installing the door position sensor, we would mount it right over here. sure that your slot is straight up and down too. Okay. Stuff all right back in there. Do not pinch any wires during this process. Okay, so it wants us to take this here and shove it back down into this hole here. that mount down into here. That should be F. Here we have these four screws that bolt the internal portion to the plate that you bolted to the external portion just a minute ago. Four Phillips head screws, tighten them down, just nice and snug, should be just fine. We'll take our battery. Click the battery in place, matching the aligning holes. In order to hand the lock, meaning it will determine which way the lock is facing and how the handing of the door is, you push and hold the programming button for just a few seconds and it will run a cycle and test itself. 
Once the lock is handed, then you can use the keypad and test the factory default code, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then test the key. There it is. Okay, so sweet. We have now installed, we have successfully installed the Lockley Visage. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most advanced locks on the planet installed here for you. Now, obviously, if we were installing this on the on a door, which we're going to go do as well, uh, we would have the other side of the door position indicator right here, and we would just set this on the other side from the inside, and you're all set and ready to go. Then we can find this lock, we scan the QR codes, we pair it to our phone, and then we can set up our codes, we can set up the facial recognition, we can set up everything we need to do once we have it in this position. Thank you so much for watching. This is definitely the wave of the future. I highly recommend you have these locks on your truck ready to sell. Or if you're a consumer, I would highly recommend purchasing these locks because they are the apex of the industry right now. This is the best, most advanced smart lock I have ever seen on the market to date.